everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith Jarman and I am the author of a Christian book of poetry titled Angel in Disguise. It is a book of Christian poetry to encourage anybody who's gone through any traumatic situations and wondered where was God. Well, my book lets you know that God was with you the whole time and your prayers never fail on deaf ears. In this video today, I am going to address um, the spiritual covering. Uh, in a recent video with Tiffany Montgomery, or by Tiffany Montgomery on her TikTok, she stated that you're not going to die just because you choose to leave a church. And basically, that a man does not have the power or basically God is not going to curse you. You know what? Without me talking, just check it out for me. I want to assure you that you are not going to die. I don't know where this divine doctrine came from. And quite frankly, I don't know where this very foolish fear came from. Um, but isn't it funny that the same God that kept you alive at 15 years old, 20 years old, 25 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old, before you decided to go to any church, um, is the same God you have now decided is going to make sure that a freak accident completely takes you out after two years of being at an organization because you have decided that it is time to leave. It is demonic doctrine. It is the devil. And quite frankly, it is Christian witchcraft. The devil is not or god is not going to um, leave you uncovered because you left the covering of a man so please keep that in mind i beg to differ spiritual covering did not just begin in this dispensation now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said to the woman indeed has god said you shall not eat from any tree in the garden and the woman said to the serpent from the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat but from the fruit of the trees, which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat from it or touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, you shall surely not die. For God knows that in the day that you eat from it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was desirable to make one wise. She took from its fruit and ate, and she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loin coverings. So you see, death is not physical. Death is spiritual. And Adam and Eve, they did die. They died when they sinned against God, and they died when they disobeyed God and ate from the tree of good and evil to know everything just as God. According to Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7 it says well actually verse 5 through 7 it says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not to your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path verse 7 says be not wise in your own eyes but fear the lord and depart from evil to walk in the the level of trying to understand everything and know everything just as adam and eve did in the garden that's evil because God wants the just, which is us, to live by faith. The 11th letter on the Hebrew alphabet is Kaf, K-A-F or K-A-P-H. And it means to cover. It is a cover. Kaf is the palm of a hand and it means to cover. So as you see, spiritual covering did not just begin now. We as Gentiles, we were engrafted in to the Jewish, the Jews. They're the root. Um, and according to Romans, we have been engrafted in. So spiritual authority and any other thing dealing in the Bible, we have to go back to the root of it all. And like I stated, it, it's in Genesis. But the cough, which means cover or the palm of a hand, it's in. it can be seen in Exodus chapter 4. Then Moses answered and said, what if they will not believe me or listen to what I say? For they may say, the Lord has not appeared to you. And the Lord said to him, what is that in your hand? And he said, a staff. Then he said, throw it on the ground. So he threw it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it. But the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand and grasp it by its tail. So he stretched out his hand and caught it. And it became a staff in his hand. Three words that are hand in that scripture. But the first two 
are the words Yod, which is the 10th letter in the Hebrew alphabet. It means a hand. As a matter of fact, its numerical value is 10 because we on our hands, both of our hands together add up to 10. So that hand represents more our hand. But the third hand in Exodus chapter four, it is the palm of a hand, which is the covering or to cover. And as you see in that text, it wasn't until um, Moses reached down to pick up the staff or pick up the snake by the tail that it supernaturally turned into a staff again. Well, when he picked it up, his hand is like this, that right there, this is the picture of cough. And that's what it is. It's, it's, the, it's the hand or the palm of the hand, but the supernatural power of God to work through that hand to do miraculous things. Um, in church, a pastor, they lay their hands, or elders in the church, their leaders, they lay their hands on people. That happens in a church setting. But going back to Exodus real quick, look at the, look at the fact that the staff turned into a snake. But Moses was able, when he took authority, the authority that God gave him, he was able to subdue that snake and it became a staff in his hand. I am making this um, analogy to say the same way that snake was subdued by Moses in Exodus chapter four, when God told him to grab it by its tail. And that was the cough, which is the covering, which is the palm. This is the same way you need to look at Tiffany Montgomery, because like the snake in Genesis who said, you will not surely die. You won't die because that's a lie because Adam and Eve, they did die. As a matter of fact, they were cursed because they disobeyed God and they were cast out of Eden or banned. She's focusing on a physical death but she is being used by the enemy, which is also why you don't get saved in your shower and then go straight into ministry without first being sequestered or separated to be alone with God so you can get to know the very God that you're trying to sell to the world. Ephesians chapter four, verse 11, when Paul says, and he gave some to be apostles, pastors, prophets, evangelists, and teachers, this is the five-fold ministry, which is operating again off of the cough, which is the palm of the hand. It's the palm of the hand in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, the body of Christ, all of it works together to cover. So you see, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15 is correct that God will give pastors or shepherds after his own heart. He didn't do away with the church. As a matter of fact, the church is the body of Christ. Now, the last thing I will leave with you is Tiffany Montgomery said that you're not going to die. And again, we've addressed that it's not a physical death. It is a spiritual death and you will die spiritually. But look at Eve in Genesis. It wasn't until she was left alone and to be deceived by the snake, did they get cursed by God. Proverbs chapter 11 says that there is safety in the multitude of counsel. My daughter and I have been fortunate to go to a ministry and not one time have they asked me for money. Not one time have they said anything about tithing. Not one time have they asked me, do I have a church home? They haven't done any of that. It, the church is like a dream come true. So if I have been blessed to find an amazing ministry that does not care more about gold than they care more about God, then that means that God who did it for me is no respecter of persons. He will do the same for you.